Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we reveal a medical milestone about gene therapy that slows the fatal progression of a deadly disease by 75%, offering new hope to patients and families battling this cruel disorder. For the first time, doctors have successfully slowed the progression of Huntington's disease by 75%, offering hope to patients and their families. This disease is a cruel genetic disorder that typically causes fatal neurological decline within two decades, has seen its progression dramatically slowed in a trial using innovative gene therapy. Professor Sarah Tabrizi, leading the research at University College London, called the results spectacular, as data reveals that the progression of the disease is now slowed by 75%, meaning patients could live for decades with a much higher quality of life. Instead of deteriorating over one year, the disease now progresses at a rate that would typically take four years. The therapy, which involves complex brain surgery lasting up to 18 hours, uses cutting-edge gene editing technology to slow the production of the toxic Huntington protein that destroys brain cells. This is done by delivering a specially designed DNA sequence deep into the brain to suppress the harmful protein. The surgery is guided in real-time using MRI to target critical areas of the brain. This disease is a genetic disorder that causes the progressive breakdown of nerve cells in the brain. Symptoms typically appear in a person's 30s or 40s and get worse over time. The disease causes movement problems, cognitive decline and psychiatric issues, leading to death within 10 to 20 years of symptom onset. Huntington's is caused by a mutation in the Huntington gene, and those with one affected parent have a 50% chance of inheriting the disease. The treatment's success has been demonstrated in a clinical trial involving 29 patients, where the disease's progression was significantly slowed. Results showed a 75% reduction in the disease's advancement, as measured by cognitive function, motor skills, and daily living capabilities. The data also revealed that the therapy had a protective effect on brain cells, as neurofilament levels, which indicate nerve cell death, did not increase as expected, but instead remained stable or improved. While this development is groundbreaking, it comes with significant challenges. The procedure, involving delicate brain surgery, is both highly complex and expensive. This means the treatment will likely be out of reach for many people unless future advancements can make it more accessible. Despite these barriers, Professor Tabrisi and her team are optimistic, already planning further trials, including preventative treatments for those at risk, but who have not yet shown symptoms. There are still many questions, including how widely the treatment can be distributed and whether it can be adapted for earlier intervention. However, the results show a tangible possibility of a better life for those living with this disease. The treatment's anticipated high cost could limit its availability, especially since gene therapies are generally expensive. Professor Ed Wild, a consultant neurologist involved in the research, highlighted that while the surgery and therapy are costly, their long-term effects could make them more affordable over time. For comparison, the NHS currently funds a 2.6 million euro per patient gene therapy for haemophilia. Gene therapy's potential to transform the way we approach degenerative diseases is clear. While it may not be available for everyone in the immediate future, this development marks the start of a new era in the treatment of genetic disorders like Huntington's. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.